What is going on everyone and welcome to Dust and Elysian Tale. So I actually played this game and did a let's play on it back in 2014 on the PS4. You can watch that if you want. It's two years later. I decided I wanted to play this again for some reason. And yeah, so I figured if I'm going to play it, I might as well record it. And yeah, so we're going to be playing this on PC this time. So hopefully the quality is better than two years ago. Well, I would hope so anyway. So anyway... Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the options menu just so you can check it out if you want I don't imagine people who are interested in this game haven't played it already since this game is at least three years old at this point But um, it did pretty well actually two years ago And so yeah the settings we're gonna be playing on pretty much max everything and by max I mean everything is on so except for this stuff that if you don't know, this game is sort of like an RPG fighter kind of game. And it's actually pretty fun. There's a lot of dialogue in this one. So if you're more into the action than the dialogue, this one may or may not be for you. Uh, it's something you just have to watch out for yourself. Obviously, you can play this with a keyboard and mouse or a controller. We'll be playing this on keyboard and mouse. And the one thing that's cool that more games should have is the ability to adjust your heads-up display. That means you can move like the health bar and stuff wherever you want it. I uh, just try to like keeping things organized. That's always important. And yeah, it, the controls, controller, keyboard, and mouse, and everything else. So with that said, since I have played this, this would be my second run. Um, let's see. We will be playing on the tough difficulty. Uh, last time I think we just played on normal and then hardcore. I'm not too sure. Uh, I really just want to play it through again. So, yeah, we're play playing it on tough. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single ch- Alright, there's one thing I do need to fix. Is the controls. Dust. Dust. Arise. I just remember this had the longest tutorial. A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. 
And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Alright, options, controls, how do you change... Can you even change things on with keyboard and mouse, like the jump button? Uh, that does not help me. You cannot rebind. Oh, you can rebind. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And you can't rebind it to mouse buttons in case you do have one. Well, that's awkward. Cannot bind it to mouse. Alright, so you're gonna have to give me a second or two to get used to all the keyboard and mouse controls. Um. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Oh god, orb thingy. Wait. Oh. S plus that thingy. Wait, hold on. Did I somehow bind my jump button to the same thing? How do I delete it? Delete. Was that there by default? That's a weird thing to do. All right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. So in this playthrough, I just want to see if, how much I could do. Uh, since obviously we're not playing on an easy difficulty, I assume we have to do most of the side quests and stuff. But we shall see. Oh god, hello. I hear noises behind me. Hello. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! <laughs> Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? 
Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. So there's a, like, checkpoints and saves. Okay, so if you don't understand this so far, the green is your health. Um... I think the blue is your XP bar. The white is like energy for something, for like ults or something. And then food and 80 out of 80 is something else. And then the gold is currency. I just, I don't think I'll ever get to use this space, space for jump. I know that's such a common thing, but I've never gotten used to it in the hundreds of PC games I've played. I've always rebounded to something else. anything missing usually the earlier on you do things the more like the more enemies you kill the better off you'll be so try not to miss too many enemies hold here dust you have unlocked a new ability bear witness to the dust storm I like it Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <gasps> That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <gasps> my power it'll use up a bit of energy meter you can recharge the meter with melee combos yes dust between your combos and fidget's own powers you can achieve a higher hit chain which will yield bonus experience after each battle however if you are struck by an enemy the chain will be broken and you will lose your bonus experience all right i think i understand if this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll what? take a look if I'm ever in trouble. He got hit somehow. Need money. That's a way you get one of the achievements in this game, the thousand combo, um, by using that storm. But you get it so late on in the game, it's don't worry about it. I actually have a video where I did it. It took a while. You 
still alive, yes, you are. You have to kill all the enemies, obviously, before progressing. Most of this game has, like, locked camera angles, so something you have to deal with. can jump. It's usually a good idea to kill everything. Just for the XP. Hey, you just leveled up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Oh god. Great even. As it should dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. Hmm, how do I want to build this time? Uh, since I'm playing on the tough difficulty, I assume we're going to have to balance it out between attack, defense, and health. And fidget. Nah, eh, not so much. Fidget really doesn't help. It's all about your DPS. So, higher defense and slightly lower attack and then medium health is that that's how I plan on doing everything sweetness Kill everything, get XP. But don't worry, I'll, I won't grind if I really have to, like, if I'm under leveled, I'll do the grinding off, off camera or recording. But uh, every story mission will be available. And just in case you do, like, really enjoy this, uh, I do have a playlist from 2014. It's already completed, you can watch that at your own time. But just keep in mind it's uh, two years old. <laughs> equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget well you should be digging me sword getting me in trouble you know now that I think about it this isn't the first time I've seen this view I've stood here before in this very spot and perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs it's hard to make out from here we'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Is there like a treasure nearby? Quest is updated. Mm, 
Wait, is that the auto save? Let's do a hard save and continue on. Wait, it doesn't auto heal me, right? Auto heal. Wait, what's the button to actual? Wait, what? Q and E. Use item. P isn't assigned to anything, right? Nope. You sure you can't change the jump button to a mouse one? Cupcake. Vibration sound. Ooh, keys. Now we could go back and get the thingy. Just don't let them get behind me, and then I should be able to combo most of this. So, we're doing good. We'll never get used to the jump button. I don't think I ever used that uh, flying ability to do damage. It's mostly evade, but that's just me. I'm pretty sure it's actually good. Still not sure what half of those things were. That's upgrades incomplete. Do you wish to? Right now, I think we're at the easy part where I could just start stacking DPS. Okay. Yeah, you get the ability later to upgrade it. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Black market. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the uh, savings. <laughs> Come on, let's talk to him. Hmm. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. 
Shall we conduct business? <laughs> Not with you. Um, usually the uh, I don't buy most of the stuff from him. Uh, before you leave, that would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. So I think these are the main quests, like the purple and then the white, or the greens are sides. Oh man, I hated this part. It's like the flying bomb. play this game I hated that part though but well, there's two of them you, they have a timer on them too so uh, you just can't like wait forever You could use them as weapons as well, for like you know, extra damage, but eh. I, I'm not too sure about the friendly fire on it as well, so I might hurt myself. That beeping you hear is that three. We could go down, but going right is probably going to the town, and we can always go back, so we should go do that. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Aw, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Like we're heading in the right direction. 
Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <sighs> it's another one of those spiky slime things! Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Oh, I hate parrying in every Allow game. Strike. I'm bad at parrying in pretty much every game Yay, I play. It. Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counter attack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Nailed it. First try. Um, immediately fall. Wait. Hold J. Wait. Why is J a button? What the fuck? Now that we're in the main town. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet. But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> 